this is why I'm using, I have thought about using the e-reader that I have. I was able to connect the 9.7 inch e-reader to the laptop and use it as a second monitor. And here it is. So here is the start menu of Windows. As you notice, it is um, not so responsive. Uh, this is actually because it's an e-ink display. You can change the settings to, to become more responsive, but it will lose some quality. As you can see here, I will call it again the menu and it's it's faster now but it has like less quality but for me it I don't like it I don't mind it like this so now let's try to uh, fix editing using this uh, display I will use uh, Microsoft Word for this So I'm continuing exactly what I've been doing indoors, but now outdoors, outside in the garden, enjoying the sun. This is an, uh, as I said, a 9.7 inch, and my laptop is a 14 inch. You can get it as big as 13 inch, 13.3. You can find an e-reader for 13.3 inch, and it will be like as big as uh, this display. But it's a bit expensive, like it costs um, 700 euros or 700 dollars. But I don't know, I, I think it's worth it. This one uses stylus, and as you see, my finger doesn't uh, work on the touch screen. This is, I find it as a, one of the pros for this tablet because you cannot go wrong like missingly touching uh, the display. But if you lose the stylus, you need to buy a new one and it, it costs like 40 euros. So you have to be careful with this. This video doesn't contain, uh, doesn't show how to set it up because uh, I really need to simplify it and I want to reduce it to two programs. I've used so many programs and I just want to reorganize the whole process and make it as simple as possible. And I will make a, a tutorial, video tutorial about how you uh, can do it yourself, if you liked it, of course. Uh, this can work on any platform, any operating system. So let's say you have a MacBook or you have a Windows uh, or Linux, it will work on all of them. I'll try internet surfing. Here is a Google Chrome, and let's uh, visit, let's say, BBC News website. So, this is how it looks like. You see how the quality? But now I'm back to the quality mode, not responsive mode, because there are lots of pictures to show. So, it makes sense actually using uh, the quality mode if you give it a second like it will it will give a really good quality really good pictures
and this is this is wireless so i was i connected it uh through wi-fi so you can take it like if you wanted to go to the kitchen grab a drink or something you can do it and take the display with you you can also control your windows like as a remote desktop through your ta through your e-reader if it's uh, if it has a, a touch display or like stylus display Now I'm shutting down Windows, as you can see. So just leave me um, leave me in the comments uh, which video for which operating system should I do first? Should it be Windows or should it be Mac? And I will upload it in the coming days. So that was it guys and see you later.